102 centimeters. <coughs> wow. Wow, what do we got? It's a 90 centimeter. My God, what have I got on here? Have a look at that, 101 centimeters. We're on. We're on. Look at that, 91 centimeters on the live salmon. Number two fish for the night. Have a look at that. Well, welcome back to another episode, Legends. Down the beach again. And so far, it's a glorious day. Not much wind at all. Hardly, hardly a cloud in the sky. But yeah, down the beach. Um, and this trip, I've had a few people ask me to do a video on full driving tips. Um, I'm no expert, but um, I've been four-wheel driving for a lot of years down here, so I thought I'd just do a few tips. Uh, just let the tyres down to uh, 20, I normally let them down to about 20 PSI all round. And normally that that um, that's low enough for me. Sometimes when the beach is really soft, um, you, you need to let them down a bit more, but most of the time, 20 pound does it for me. But yeah, just about to head over the over the beach. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a few tips. And hopefully, it, hopefully it helps you. Um, hope, hope you enjoy this this episode. I'm going to enjoy doing this episode. Hopefully, we can um, get some silver slabs on the beach tonight. I've um, got the got my tags to tag fish now, so I just need to catch one over 82, and we can tag it. But anyway, we'll get going, get over the beach, see what it looks like. Hopefully, there's no weed. But we'll see you there. Yo! What I like to do is um, either stop at the bottom of the hill or um, just slow down. Pick the track I'm going to take up the hill. You got to take uh, the holes and ruts and everything into consideration. I mean, this hill is not very bad, but um, you get ones a lot worse than this. But I think that's a good idea to just sit there and have a look. Look at it. See what the track's like and pick the path you're going to take and then do it. And what I like to do, also like to do, is start off first, change in the second, and then put the revs up to about oh, two, two and a half thousand revs and keep it steady revs when you're going up the hill. And you should be right. See how we go. He's <laughs> a pretty easy hill that one, but that just gives you a bit of an idea what I try to do. Now this hill is a bit, little bit harder, a bit softer, a few more ruts and that. But yeah, once again, just have a look at it. Choose the path you're going to take. 
put her in second, keep the revs up. Yeah, you should be right. Let's do this. Too easy. Most of the crossings are not too bad. Tea Tree's got a pretty bad hill. It takes a bit of practice getting up that one. You gotta let your tyres down because it's, it's the hardest one I like, Tea Tree, but Tea Tree's full of water at the moment, so 42 is pretty easy. 32 is pretty easy too. One hill is a, it's a bit rough, but pretty good anyway they like to do is walk down the beach and like stomp around the sand a bit see how hard it is doesn't feel too bad she's soft where you come in here but the rest of it looks all right apart from the weed oh my god have a look at the weed there i'm hoping that up there where i'm heading a lot less wee but that is just ridiculous have a look at that but yeah i like to walk down the beach first see what it's like feel it with your feet it doesn't feel too bad so we'll um, head off to the spot as you can see i'm not exactly stuck here but i thought i'd just show you what i do when i am stuck if you're stuck and you can't go forward or back just clear all the sand in front of the tyre give yourself a good good run to get out of it clear all the sand from under the front of the tyre so it's got nothing stopping it in the back of the tyre Clear that all out and a bit behind it. And the same with the back tyre. Clear that all out. As you can see, I'm not stuck, but didn't want to get bogged just to show you. Yeah, clear out front and back of both tyres and then let another, if you're stuck, let another 5 PSI out of your tyres all round. So you probably get away with three maybe. Depends how badly bogged you are, but <laughs> if I'm really bogged and can't move, I'll let another 5 PSI out of all the tyres. And it's amazing what 5 PSI can do so many times I've been bogged and can't move I let 5 PSI out and get back in the car yeah, and clear all the sand away from the tyres get back in the car and most of the time I can reverse out of it and then get some revs up and get out of there yeah what do I do if you're um you hit a soft spot and you're bogged down and you can't go forwards and you can't go backwards don't keep trying just stop before you get too bogged down just stop get out clear the tires let your tires down more 
before you get bogged more. Yeah, if you, when you first get bogged, I always like to reverse back first. Don't cheat, don't keep trying to go forward. You reverse back over your tire tracks, and it's, it's always a bit harder, so you reverse back like that. She always seems to get out of it easier. Yeah, about to chuck out first bait. Pilly's a bit better size this trip. Last trip they were so small. About medium size this trip. Medium's better than small. I like, like big pilchards, but you gotta go with what you got. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of weed around, but not too bad. Here we go. First cast of the day. Wait for your big mower weight. Oh, there's some weed. Yeah, well, we're at the spot and um, got the first rod out. As soon as I chucked it out, she was started bending over like I reckon it had weed on it. But that's one thing the braid I like about the braid. The braid seems to cut through the weed and it comes off um, a lot, whereas the mono not so much. But I still prefer me mono. But actually, oh, it looks like it's got weed again now. It's just stood straight up. Unless it got a bite. Well, before I was really interrupted by the uh, weed on the line. Yeah, it doesn't look real good, but I suppose I'm not not that far down the beach from where from the entrance. So compared to up there, it's fishable so far. I'm just hoping all the weed from up there doesn't move down this way tonight. But um, yeah. We'll give it a go here anyway until a bit before dark. If it's fishable, I'll stay here. If not, I might head up another way, up to the, up that way somewhere. So, but yeah, we'll see how we go. But anyway, I, I hope the few tips I've been giving you on four-wheel drive helps. Um, but yeah, I can't stress enough that you got to have momentum and keep the momentum up. If you start bogging down and you need to change down, change down really quick, as fast as you can, because the longer you take the change down, the faster you bog in. You gotta try and keep the momentum up. So yeah, that's another thing that I can't stress enough. Change the gears as fast as you can and keep the revs up um, to around yeah, two and a half, three grand. Depends how boggy it is. I never had anyone to teach me how to full drive. I just got down here and did it. Um, and yeah, the, the more you do it, the better you get. I think when you when you haven't done much full drive, you probably let your tyres down a bit more. But once you got a bit of experience up, then you don't have to let them down so much. But anyway, I hope those tips help. I'll keep giving it a go here. Oh, I got chocolate block weed again. Oh God, looks like I'm moving. Anyway, I'll keep uh, keep you posted. Ew. spot she's weeded out I'm just hoping I'll go further up this way and she'll be better Let's have a look at that that is thick 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 Oh, 
I'm sitting on about two and a half, three grand in third gear. Keep the revs up, keep the momentum up. You should be right. Definitely fishables so far anyway. Oh, I'm under something. Something small. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, God. Oh. oh, there you go. That was only, that was, the sec that was the second bait on this rod at this new spot. Oh, I just haven't had time or anything. I've been setting up rods, pulling weed off. Oh, I've got a hook up anyway. That was a half decent fish, I felt the weight of it, but anyway, at least that shows there's some fish out there. Might be in for a chance yet, hopefully. Come on. Well, we're on again. Woo! Yeah! Are we swimming in? Yeah. Salmon. Salmon! Yeah, fresh bait. You bloody beauty! I think that might have been one of the other fish I lost. Might have been a salmon too. Have a look at that. First fish of the trip. I just lost one before. I lost the fish before, and I reckon it was one of these. I, um, I could tag this fish, I got some tags, but I prefer to save them for Mulloway. And I want some fresh bait, so this will be fresh bait for the night. Hopefully we can catch some more. Well, actually, hopefully I can catch a Mulloway to tag and release. They gotta be over 82. I can also tag a gummy shark or something too, so. But yeah, haven't had a chance to do any videos, I've been I've been flat out since I got to this new spot. And now I'm cooking sausages and trying to cook sausages and catching fish. But yeah, she's fresh bait. First fish, hopefully many more to come. Starting to head towards low tide now. Uh, I think it's about 7.30 and I think low tide's about uh, 10.30 10 or something. Actually, I think it's about 10. Yeah, I think it's about 10 o'clock low tide, so. But yeah, hopefully many more to come. See how we go. You Well, got the snags cooked. Nearly burn them because, uh, as usual, fish like to bite when, when you're trying to cook the snags or eat the snags. But yeah, yummo. Well, bit of action while I'm trying to cook dinner. As usual. I reckon that first one I lost was a salmon too because it was like tight and slack. Salmon have a habit of swimming in with the bait and spitting it. And because I was stuffing around with the GoPro, I lost it. And anyway, got one of the next bait on the other rod. There's a few fish around. Hopefully there's um mullies around. Finally on to something else. Another salmon maybe. Whoa. Is that a mullow, eh? Oh, it's got weed with it. 
That big salmon. You dare! But these entire salmon, do you? Yeah, look at that! Number two fish for the night. There's a bit of seaweed on the line. I thought, what's going on there? And then all of a sudden, she just bent over and went whack, whack. The old salmon, they put up a good fight. Might keep this one. Mrs. One and one, give one to her friend, so I'll keep this one. Next one, I might put a tag in it. Really wanted to save the tags for Mulloway, but hey, good to tag something. But yeah, number two, I reckon it's about nine o'clock, heading towards low tide. Hopefully, we can get more. It's not a bad start of the night, hopefully, it keeps up like this. I'll be happy with that. You. Nothing like a fresh slab of salmon on the change of tide. Nice fresh slab of salmon on the change of tide. Come on, big fish time. Yeah, just a nice casual cast out there. Drop off just there. We've got a chuck of pilchard on one rod. Trust the old pilchard. Caught so many of my big mulloway on pilchard, you wouldn't believe. Most people say, pilchard, no, nah, you don't catch mulloway on pilchard. It's definitely been the most consistent bait for me. Well, haven't been throwing much bill yet. Tell you the truth, I haven't really thought about it. But we can get a few fish. Change the tide. It's going to be something big out there lurking. Whoa, I think we're onto another salmon. Good salmon, I reckon. Oh, or is that a mulloway? The mulloway. Yeah, cheapers. Bloody good size one too. Good fish. Oh no. Wow, she looked bigger than that. Once again, chunky fish. Have a look at that. She's so chunky. Have a look at that. 72 centimeters. Gotta get her back. Change of tide. What a river fish. You'll be out there. 72. What a beast. Gotta get her back. Change of tide again. Pilch it. Oh yeah, I couldn't even film her, she's too fast. You! Uh, there you go. I had fresh, I've had fresh salmon on that other rod. For the last half an hour, I'd say there'd be still bait on there because I wound a pilchard in before. And it still had bait. But yeah, trust the old pilchard does it again. <laughs> Had fresh salmon out, what did the Mulloway take? Pilchard. Well, bit of an update. Haven't been doing too many updates tonight, but I just felt like sitting down and relaxing. It was a bit quiet for a while and I thought, and I had um, fresh salmon on and got that 72 on the pilly and I thought, geez, they reckon. Fresh salmon's better than pilly, but I hadn't, hadn't had any bites on the, the uh, salmon. So I chucked another fresh slab on there, threw it out again. And I was just sitting there and I was thinking, geez, I might swap that swap from salmon to squid. Give squid a go. The next thing, the rod just 
just went whack. And after the first whack, it sort of stood up a bit. And then it went whack again, and then it stood right up. So, yeah, I think it was a big, my guess is a big mully. But, could have been a salmon, but I don't get too many salmon on big slabs of fresh salmon. So, I'm thinking maybe a uh, mullet way, but anyway, I missed it, so never know. But yeah, it's been a bit quiet, but hey, I've got three good fish so far. It's about 12 o'clock. Moon's, is about two third of a moon. Just, uh, just um, before the last quarter. But yeah, I'll keep baiting up. Chucking some burley out. In interestingly, after I chucked the, the burley out twice, I had hits. So yeah, I probably should be chucking more burley out, but yeah, I'll keep trying anyway. See how we go. Hope we get something big. Keep putting the hours in. I'll get another three hours yet. I'll get into them. You! Uh, keep chucking baits out. Salmon and squid at the moment. See the life is so bad. Well, it looks like that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope you like the video. Uh, we got two good salmon. Lost one earlier on and a 70 centimetre mile away that's still a good night's fishing in my books but yeah the weeds moved in and it's in the front of the gutter it's just thick as they're thrown out further and they're holding for a while now but doesn't seem to be any fish around it's looking like that might be about it but anyway thanks for watching if you haven't uh, subscribed already guys and you want to see some live videos I want to start doing live videos smash that subscribe button because we need more subscribers before we can do some live videos but yeah thanks for watching guys hope hope uh, the four-wheel drive tips helped you out a bit and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one soon hopefully a couple weeks I'll give it a go for another hour or so but yeah it's not looking good but might see you again, might not. If not, thanks for watching, thanks for the support guys. See you in the next one. Cheers. You have a look at that weed. I was lucky to catch anything last night. But still the damn weed. Look at that. Seal there resting. Ooh, Mr. Seal!